gentlemen, welcome back, uh, head coach Thad O'Donnell. Uh, Thad, uh, why don't you give us a recap of, uh, of your season and how things went from start to finish for us? Season uh, was fast and furious. We you know, obviously we started in January and had w every weekend we had a tournament, and you know the guys were. I think we had them prepped really well, and we, they knew it was going to be a short season, so the excitement from the get-go is right out of the gate. And once we started, it, it flowed really, really well. Tournaments we went to were real good. Uh, we got to see the competition that we were going to see in our region. And overall, I thought we were real prepared going into the into the uh, postseason. Our we took a few duels out of our season just to get more guys on the mat. And I think uh, everybody was pretty happy with how the whole season went. Speaking of starting January, Thad, you know this was the first year that. Uh, you uh, uh, initiated uh, competition only in the second semester. Um, now that you've had a chance to go through the whole season, compete in a regional tournament, a national tournament, uh, you know, and, and I know you haven't had a lot of time, but as you evaluate, what, what, what do you think of that, uh, uh, of that process and how you'll go forward with it and how, how it affected your um, athletes and, and as we go forward with that? Yeah, I, I think, you know, like I said, we haven't gone through everything, but looking back, I think we're actually going to take a tournament out of our schedule that we have right now in the, in the one semester. Uh, talking to our guys, they really liked it. They liked that short uh, season in that they, they can gear up for that one, uh, one run at it. Like I told them, Division One goes six months at a high level. We can do it for two months at a high level, and, and they did, and they really bought in. And I think that was the biggest part was the guys buying into it, and they did a great job of um, you know, staying positive and every week making those small adjustments, but um, maintaining their weight, the grade, all that stuff really made it a, a good experience for them. Um, and I just, at the national tournament actually, probably fielded 30 or 40 different coaches coming up and asking the whole process and went through. And I think two or three, are, they, they, they told us they were gonna do that. They were gonna, they were gonna go through that. So hopefully, you know, it starts a trend that then we end up moving our, if we moved our tournament back one week, it would be perfect. Yeah, I knew that you were going to get a lot of questions you mentioned before people are asking about you and, and I suppose now after you complete the full process evaluation we'll get more questions. So the last thing I guess we want to ask you that is it's coming off of the national tournament and performance there. Tell us a little bit about uh, you know how the guys did there and, and, and how you felt uh, the overall cap of, of the not only individuals but the, the each uh, team member as how they did. Yeah, I, the national tournament, uh, you know, it, it is one of those that we when we go into that, hey, you guys got to be ready. Everything's a little tighter. The matches are going to be like tighter. And I, I talked to the the national op and we, the NEI rep that was there. We had more overtime matches than we've ever had um, as as the whole tournament. It was it was phenomenal. It comes down to just very little mistakes or very little movements that create the difference in the scores. And uh, it was a awesome tournament there is um, defending national champs that were beat out in two rounds it was it was just a great great com competitive atmosphere and I thought our guys were did really well they competed really hard even the guys that didn't uh, you know place in the national tournament they had a great experience we only had two returners um, off our national team the year before that were at the national tournament so a lot of that is you know their expectations going in they they've talked about it all year long and um, once they get there, you know, the bright lights, the atmosphere, the music, you know, it really heightens their, you know, their adrenaline and sometimes it gets too much and, and they shut down. But I thought we did a really good job. We talked about our matches and if you look at the second and third periods of our matches, we controlled all those, all those matches. It was the first period of the guys that weren't there that really hurt them. Um, but we talked about the guys that were beat out after that. I said, now you can use this to your advantage. You, when we watch, you watch those guys that are competitive. You watch what they do. You, you pick up those things of how they act and, and, and that sort of thing. So I think the guys that their first year experience, and we have all those guys back except for one. Um, so we're real excited about next year. But this year, you know, having the three All-Americans, the one that we really wanted to have that all, you know, all of them we want to play. Tyler Brown is our senior, senior that was on the team, and he has worked really hard to get that, you know, and when they get to that bubble match where they're going to be an All-American or not, then things really get tight, and that's, that's one that, hey, you've got to relax. You've got to be able to just do what you do, and he did a great job. He, he placed, and once those guys get through that round, you see the, the weight lifted off their shoulders. Sean Elkin's another one, and Sean is one that we really had to 
calm down. He just gets overly excited, you know, and, and it was one of those, he, he gets, and he's genuine. He's not got this pre-recorded thing going on. He is genuinely excited and we just got, you got to build yourself up. We're other guys, we got to get him going before the match and, you know, and um, Hudson, Hudson had a rough tournament, you know, place in fourth, but, uh, you know, he is probably one of the best guys in that weight class. He's had, you know, he's had some injuries. He got hurt a little bit, you know, and at that point, everybody has dinged up a little bit, but he basically had a cast on his right hand and be able to still perform at that high level. Um, we know, and afterwards he was very upset of, you know, where he finished, you know, so we know that that's going to be his driving force for next year. And so overall, I, I, very proud of our guys. I thought they competed very hard. They represented very well. They held themselves up very well to the competition. So I, I think it, you know, the future looks pretty bright for them. Yeah, I, I would agree with you. I know that uh, uh, as you look at your team with uh, everybody coming back from Tyler, so there's got to be a lot of excitement within your program. And I know there's a lot of excitement within the athletic department at Dickinson State, the things that your wrestling program did this year and also for the future come, coming forward. So congratulations on that, Dad, and we look forward to another great season next year. Thank you.